Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. For all the C8 fans, owners, and enthusiasts out there, I'm going to show you how to insert or install the Paragon uh, Performance Grill Guards that protect the radiator fins from getting damaged from really any type of debris, rocks, branches, leaves, bugs, anything you can think of will fit through those uh, holes and get back into the fins and cause some damage. There are a few different versions or kits to pick from. Uh, Paragon would be our choice. Some of the kits use zip ties. Others just double-sided tape. This uses five uh, contact or uh, connection points that combines a little bit of the double-sided tape with actual bolts and screws. The hardware, including brackets and the alcohol to clean off the surface area, comes with. The other tools you will need to put together yourself, including T15 7mm socket, 11mm socket, an extension ratchet, a flathead screwdriver, and a 3 and 4mm Allen key. So the first thing you want to do is get the vehicle elevated. That is a must. After you have the C8 high enough, Remove the T15 screws, and then you can pull away the driver's side section of the front lip. That's first. You'll find you don't have to remove the whole thing. Just loosen it up so it can dangle, and you can remove a partial uh, piece of plastic with the skid plate or the splash pan, and that's held on by more T15 screws and one just random uh, seven millimeter bolt. Don't pull down too hard. There's one hidden up in the recess of the pan itself, and that's where the extension comes in. Remove that, and it will slide away from the front splitter and the uh, front bumper, and you can then gain access from underneath up into this area. The next thing you want to remove are three, uh, those are seven millimeter bolts and they go in from the back. Just, I don't understand why they do it this way. Um, that will be reversed when you are placing the uh, grill or uh, mesh insert in there. But for now, you need to get up in through with a small ratchet and the seven millimeter Whatever works for you, if you have a stubby, you'll probably find more room. This is the reason we're putting these in here. Um, you see, everything that's flown in so far, this vehicle only has a few miles, and we have bugs, branches, leaves, dirt. Anything can get in there and damage the fins of the radiator. I don't know why this is a done factory, but it's not, so we'll take care of it. With those three bolts removed, the trim easily pops off the rest of the way, just held on by clips. Okay, as Brian jumps over to the other side, we're going to break out the hardware and start to uh, attach the brackets. These are little brackets that will come in from behind and attach to the three bolts we just took out that holds the trim on there. And all the hardware is there. This is exactly how you put them on, and this is the way they are faced. An Allen key and 11 millimeter socket and snug it up. Okay, the trim piece, bring that over and pop off the clips. We will be turning those around and come in from the front, uh, the easy side. All you need is a flathead screwdriver, they pry right off. 
Tear open the foil sleeve or pouch, and you can pull out the alcohol swabs or whatever chemical they use, uh, probably a primer, to clean off all the surfaces where the double-sided tape will go on the mesh itself, the brackets, and also on the vehicle. Next, apply the double-sided tape. The mesh grill guard will only go up in there one way. Take your time and uh, gently get it up there without damaging the fins on the radiator and get into position. Line up your first bracket right here. Again, all the hardware is included and snug it up. Next, we need to swing the other side into position. The tabs on the bottom with the double-sided tape will then make contact and start to take hold, and we just need to put in these screws right here. Slide the trim back into place, and those plastic clips will go back in easily. Put the screws included in the hardware in from the front this time, and it's time to enjoy. No more debris getting in and causing any damage to the fins of the radiator. And just in time, the customer has arrived, everything is secure, looking good, and that's how you install the Paragon Performance Grill Guards. An easy DIY job, or we'd be more than happy to do it for you. Our contact information is down in the description box.